Welcome back, and I hope your coffee is ready to another paper. This time we are talking about Swin Unet, Unet like pure transformer for medical image segmentation. So we have this paper here that is made for medical image segmentation, but in fact, there's nothing special about medical image. It could be applied to any segmentation task. Let's see what it is about. So basically what the authors claim as a current problem is that we have CNN, CNNs that are really good and can do prediction and can do a lot of segmentation, but they have the problem of global and long range semantic information interaction. So they say this is lacking in CNNs and that's true. We know that transformers work better for this. So what they propose is to try a transformer network, a pure transformer, with a unit shape. That's it. They try a transformer based network and they try a unit on, on top of it. So let's see what that gives us as, uh, as results. Basically, we have um, the, the idea generally is just to adapt to have this transformer and use the unit uh, structure. So I'm going to jump right here into the, the diagram of the idea. Basically, you have on the left an encoder. So you take the image and you keep down sampling it. And you do that using the linear, sorry, the patch merging. So the patch merging is really simple block, this one here. What it does is it takes, let's say, an, an image with uh, some dimensions, uh, with a height and some channels, and it just reshape them. So now you have, for example, a smaller image but more channels. So you don't you don't do anything. You just take from, let's say, high and width and put into channels. That's a pet merging. This is already uh, exists at the Swin uh, transformer, and so they just keep using the same. And another thing that they have is the that they propose, which is kind of their novel stuff, is the patch expanding, which is exactly the same thing. So you just take something um, that is small and uh, probably a lot of channels, and you make it bigger. Sorry, I cannot draw after the, the PDF. And put less channels, that's it. So that's the patch expanding. And in between they have the swing transformer block. So those are classic uh, swing transformer blocks. And uh, that's all they have as a new stuff. They have um, other than that, as they show here, uh, they have so these 48 features uh, in the beginning. So basically, the way it works, I can show here, is the transformer uh, does something that we... Sorry, here. You have an image, you have it in divided in pixels. As usual for a transformer, what you do, you take patches uh, as the VIT. So here they do the same, they took windows of 4x4, so let's say here, this is a 4x4 window, then take it, uh, it gives you 4x4x3, four by four by this is 48 uh, values, they pass it to a linear embedding layer, I call it LEL, and then it gives you C. So this is the embedding layer that just uh, takes and, and this uh, project. And then you take it to the swing, swing transformer block. Swing transformer block. And then it keeps going on swing transformers blocks and it with the patch merging stuff. And then you have the patch merging layer and patch expanding layer depending on where you are. Also, you have uh, they have skip links, uh, which comes from the unit architecture, and uh, they show here that you can have uh, improvements on the segmentation, which is um, not not surprising. This is uh, the usual way it works with uh, unit. That's basically what unit brought 
uh, is a skip connection, so they just use it as well. Other than that, they have they show here their swim transformer block. They have this this equations here that I found not that much useful because you have this transformer block here. Basically, you have the linear, then you have the window multi self attention, and you have the shifter window multi self attention, and you have again the linear and uh, an MLP. So this is a swing transformer block. Nothing new about that. And um, they go. We can go here. They explain each part, and then they show the results. For the results, we have the segmentation accuracy and they compare to uh, not a lot of other unit structures and also a tr yeah there's a trans unit well they have many others you have VITs as well so transformers and uh, you can see that they, they get uh, competitive results it's not the absolute best uh, every case but they show that it works basically so the idea is to investigate how a pure transformer would perform, and that's what they show. So they have uh, their their two um, metrics, which is the dice similarity coefficient, which is basically just uh, intersection over union, more or less. So we have, let's say, distributions A and B. So here, the ESC is going to be zero. Here is going to be, let's say, 50%, and here is going to be 100%. That's it. And you have another one, which is the Hausdorff distance. This one is a little bit trickier to understand, but it's basically, let's say, you have this distribution here, and you have another distribution that is overlapping. So you have two, you have, um, first you take two uh, values. The supreme distance between this guy and uh, this distribution and the outer distribution let's say so here i would say this one here you have you take this point and let's say you you show where you try to find the distance and you get it here and here and for the outer to the outer to the inside uh let's say i would say is this one here Okay, so you take the maximum of those two, and that's what uh, you get as the house door distance. And they show more results here. They show some visual results. Uh, they here they they show the segmentation accuracy for this ACDC data set, and they show and they say that it's ha it, it has a better local or global segmentation accuracy. Their case. But honestly, I couldn't. I couldn't see. I would like them to zoom in on the region what they are talking about because maybe I'm not from the area. I cannot recognize perfectly where they are. But still, uh, you can see that from the result it works. So another thing that I would like to point out that I would like to understand better is here for the discussion. They talk about two stuff, the effect of the input size and the model scale. So the model scale, basically you have a number of parameters. And uh, they say that hardly increase the performance if you use the base, but I would, I, would, I would say not. I would say it does increase. They say that they end up using tiny, the tiny for all the results. And also this, the input size, of course, bigger, usually is best, is better. And they say, ah, it's too much uh, computational resource, so we keep using this one here. But uh, since we are talking here about medical imaging, I don't understand, like for me, time is not a big deal for medical imaging because it's a patient life population that you're uh, assessing. So I think time is not a big problem. If you take a minute instead of a second, it's no problem to use this version here. So I would say that they could go easily with the biggest and have this way better because it's quite a big difference. They can have this matrix over here. And that's a paper. I hope you like it. It's a simple idea, transformers and the unit uh, architecture. So thank you.